what's up, Charlie? What's going on, bro? Good to see you. It's Elliot. Yeah. What's going on, Great Thomas? Yeah, we're climbing. Uh, he's going to climb with me in uh, February, Kilimanjaro. I think we do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, did I never tell you about it? Yeah, we take uh, former military guys like Elliot. He's a big Eagles fan. Uh -huh. uh, and uh, NFL retired players in the pond. Maybe, maybe one of these years, get you up there. <laughs> it's only it's only 20,000 feet. Only 20,000 yeah. <laughs> Waterboys uh, was an initiative that I started after I went to Tanzania. Clean water was introduced to me after my trip as a great vehicle to saving lives and improving lives and improving communities. Half the world's hospital beds are occupied by people suffering from waterborne illness. It's a network of NFL players and influencers. We've raised well over a million dollars now, and we've provided clean water for about 100,000 people at this point. Additionally, we've done this really cool thing, which is uh, conquering Kili. Uh, it's my favorite thing, bar none. We go to Africa, we bring retired NFL players and wounded warriors. We team up and we climb this 20,000 foot mountain called Kilimanjaro. So have you ever, have you ever climbed? No, no. So, I mean, honestly, I think what's gonna help me get through this is all my military training. You know, we've done the 20 mile humps with all our gear like that. And, um, you know, it's, it's gonna be hard. Dude, it, I bet, I, yeah, but you guys just have such a mental edge on us. Like, the coolest thing for me is seeing all these macho, tough-ass NFL guys, and they just get their ass kicked, including myself. I just might be out there training with you guys some. I love that gym, bro. You never hiss out of breath in the mountain? Well, if you are, it's not from going this fast. Yeah. It's just because there's no freaking air. All right, here we go. No oxygen. Two, one, let's get it. I joined the Marine Corps when I was 17, back in 2002. Deployed within a few weeks to Iraq. My unit rescued the seven POWs. I was wounded, almost lost my leg. I've had multiple surgeries on my legs. Uh, I was supposed to walk with a cane for the rest of my life and limited mobility. I'm preparing myself for, for the amount of stress that's gonna be put on my legs. Now I'm gonna climb Kilimanjaro. Big steps. Your freaking thighs, man. Your butt. Oh, dude. How steep is incline? Uh, this was, I don't know what the degree is. The physical preparation for a climb like this is mainly about you know, building up your endurance. NFL preparation is a lot different. It's so much more about speed and power. I mean, each play is about four to six seconds. When you're climbing a mountain over four to six days, we're, we're getting up to 19,340 feet. It's a very different type of preparation. Halfway. Halfway. It's like when you get up to the, when you get up to the ridge of Kili when you're in the crater, the volcano, you're like past the hard part. You still got like a mile and a half uphill to the sign, to the yeah. actual peak. You get up there, you're like, ah, <laughs> come on now. Yeah. 10 seconds, Elliot. Come on, bud. There's always curveballs that uh, Mount Kilimanjaro likes to throw at you. Training each other, pushing each other, uh, but knowing that I can't quit because he's relying on me and he can't quit because I'm relying on him. The thought of climbing and summiting the mountain, I dream about it, I think about it while I'm training to help validate that I'm not just gonna sit back and, and listen to what the doctors told me I wasn't gonna be able to do. I'm gonna show them what I can't do. For me, Projects like this, finding other ways to serve without necessarily picking up a weapon, uh, is very important. I'm always gonna wanna fight for those that can't fight for themselves in some way. That's instilled in me from my time in the military, and it'll be with me forever. I think they realize how great the cause is and the opportunity we have to you know, work in a team setting alongside our military. It's powerful, and the excitement, the buildup is awesome. Let's grab some water. 31 points in the first half. This is the 13th straight game in which the Eagles have scored over 20 points. I've had a lot of fun the last few years playing ball. This is hard to beat. 